the Earthman attacked one of his properties and the damaged items so you know worth 50 million naira <laughs> Can you imagine Fulani people telling you if you remove Fulanis from Yoruba forest? Imagine Fulani telling you if you remove them from your ancestral lands. Nigerians make on the ice apple. Oh, your baby people make on the ice apple. Not your ancestors are the killer now. It is the apple no, it is the apple no me. Now God send me like this, like this, like this. Oh. What's up, Tim Crown? I want deal with him. happen within this sub. Welcome back to our channel. First, guys, this is a disclaimer. This video is solely or just on Sunday Igbo. So, if you're not interested, I would advise you quit the video now. Now, let us move straight to the reason why you click. If you've paid attention to what has been happening of late, you would notice that there have been some agitation going on between the Yorubas and Fulanis. A particular name sticks out in all of these, and that person is Sunday Buho. And one of the frequent questions I see in the comment section is, who is this man really? Does he have some sort of title in the Yoruba land? Well, this is what I know. His followers calls him Osha, which means Oracle. The media outlets calls him a Yoruba activist, while the government calls him a tout, a political thug, a rebel, and a troublemaker. But wait, is Sunday Boho really an Oracle? What gives him the courage to challenge the dangerous Fulanese in Yoruba land? Who are his sponsors? What does he want? Well, we will talk about that in the course of our discussion. Um, the reason why he is fighting the Fulanese is simple. The rate at which the Fulanese kidnap and kill people in the Western region is alarming and scary. They capture their victims, ask for money, and when you can't provide it, they kill the victims immediately. Igbo said, you people are not only using our land, you kill us, kidnap and ask for ransom. According to him, the least they've asked so far is 9 million naira. Sometimes they even kill the victims after collecting the money. The most recent one that must have filled this outrage and anger was the case of a Nigerian doctor based in Germany who was killed by the Fulani headsmen. Um, on the Yoruba soil because he questioned them about cattle on his farm. Dr. Fatai has a large farm in his hometown where he employed over 200 workers. This triggered the Yoruba community, especially Mr. Igboho. So, <laughs> Joba. 
Again, who really is this man fighting against the Fulanese? His real name is Sunday Adeyemo and is originally from Igboho in Oyo State, hence the name Sunday Igboho. He was born at Igboho Town on October 10th in 1972. He played a huge role in the fight between Modakeke and Ife in 1997. His support for the Modakeke people during the crisis gave him fame. He is the CEO of Addison International Business Concept Limited. He started off as a motorcycle repairer and then ventured into automobiles where he sells cars and was able to start Addison Business Concept. Sunday Boho wants the creation of the Yoruba Nation or Oduduwa Nation, just like what Unamde Kano wants for the Igbos. According to him, only this can bring peace. In his words, I don't care about Nigeria. That's none of my business. As far as I'm concerned, there is nothing like one Nigeria. My goal is to fight for Oduduwa Nation. It is either that or nothing. <laughs> Good. That's what he said actually, guys. I know most of you watching right now are waiting to hear me talk about the sponsors and what gave him the boldness to think he can fight the Fulanis, considering the fact that the Fulanis are known to be very tough with their charms. Well, Sunday Boho too knows that and there's a reason why Yoruba's believes in him and supports him. That's because he's proven beyond reasonable doubt that he's very powerful and he's so sure of his metaphysical powers. According to many of your indigents who witnessed him display his ability to command the gun from the air during crisis, said he is one to be feared. And this is not hearsay. They said they saw it happen with their own eyes. Just recently, during the fight against the Fulani, Sunday Boho narrated how bullets were fired at him at a barakba and did not harm him. Did you all notice what Sunday Boho wore um, while addressing his people in this video? Some people on social media wondered why his shoulders were like that and why his dress looks so awkward. That is because he wore a powerful cloth underneath, decorated with charms in case someone tries to harm him. During an interview, he said, This is not an issue that affects Sunday Boho, but a matter of concern to the entire Yoruba race. I am saying it pointedly that I am too strong for Fulani bandits to attack or capture me. So this matter is not about me at all. I don't have a child who would be kidnapped by Fulani men because my children are not even based in the country. When shots were fired at me during the visit to, um, to the Seriki in Egongon, Ibadan, the bullets did not penetrate or harm me. That shows the efficacy of the Yoruba traditional power. Idoho on multiple occasions has said that he is not a troublemaker and he hates cheating. He calls himself an activist 
who's fighting to liberate and enlighten the Yoruba people. Is also partake in politics in the past in our state when the then governor Ladoja was impeached illegally by the godfather of or your politics at Didibu. During that time, Sunday Boho act as Ladoja's bodyguard. Although Ladoja was given back his position by the court, but this was after several months of fight and disagreement between Ladoja and Adidibu. According to Sunday Boho, during an interview, he said that uh, he supported the then governor because he was cheated by the godfather of Oyo politics, Adidibu. In his words, it is true. I was a key witness and also a key player in the political development of that period. I was an insider. Former governor Rashid Ladoja was my leader, my political boss. I rose and fought on his behalf when late Alaji Lamedi Adedibu and former president Chief Olusha Gombasujo wanted to carry out their illegal impeachment of um, Ladoja. That is a short story about the oracle himself, Sunday Boho. Now, about the Fulanese. The governor of Oyo State has made it clear that he is not behind Sunday Igboho, since the Fulanese are Nigerians and by law has the right to move anywhere or reside anywhere. Unlike the Oyo State governor, the Ondo State governor has given Fulani seven days to vacate their land. In fact, the Ondo State Assembly of Traditional Religion Worshippers has called on Governor Akiridolu to collaborate with them and the fight against Fulanis and the promise to flush them out with their spiritual powers. Nigerians, especially Yorubas, has expressed their displeasure about the Yorubas state governor who said that he will not support Sunday Boho. Governor Makinde, I'm going to kill you. Sunday Boho, God will bless you. Because Governor Makinde, you're not going to do it for your life. You're not going to do it. Makinde, on your state, you're not going to do it. They are in our bushes. But just recently, uh, we read that the governor finally met with the leaders of the Fulanese and they agreed to ban open grazing. Some speculators said this might lead to war since the current president is Fulani himself. The Arewa community claimed that Fulanese are being maltreated and marginalized by other Nigerians and it will be better if everyone goes their separate ways. They even threatened the Yoruba with war. This is not the first time the Fulanese have been accused of killings in the southwest. The Bini Ore Road is also their major spot. Just recently, they attacked a vehicle in that area. Esmen, they inside this bush. Esmen, they inside this bush. They block us for road, though. Now God, now God save my me and my family. Nigerians, make on the ice up. Oh, your baby, people make on the ice up. No, don't just ask the killer now. It is the apple, no, it is the apple, no, me. Now God save me like this, like this, like this, oh. this is me, Olaju, Saint Send Larry. This will not be lying, yo. At this in a lie before saying that people they lie against them. This is a S man, I see them oh. Make people rise, oh, your ba, your banish or rise, oh. Say moto. Moto black, don't want to be one of what I'm going to do. What can you write in the boy one? He said, What is that escape? Flanny S man. Hmm. See? See? Uh -uh. Just now. Full on the man. Yeah, this is Lagos being near the expressway. Just now. See? 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 See them? Nice this bush, enter. go in lower. I want to Ciao, Flavio. 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 Ciao, Flavio.
Yes, yes, Come on, come on, come on, come on, on, you're not supposed to run. You're not carrying anything now. You're not carrying anything. You're not supposed to run. How you going to do? Full of men to pursue us. Everybody don't run, leave their moto. Everybody don't run, leave their moto. They have kidnapped some people. They have kidnapped some people right now. We have kidnapped some people that are taking them inside the bush. The presidency in 2018, according to Senator Yinaya from Abia State, said that the headsmen killing Nigerians are not really Nigerians. They're from Libya. In fact, they were trained by late Gaddafi. And these people are not the Nigerian um, Fulanis that are being accused of the killings. That the people responsible are invaders from outside Nigeria. That's what um, Senator Eyinaya um, claimed the president said about the Fulanis killing Nigerians. Mr. President, yesterday in London, the commander in chief of the armed forces of Nigeria and the president of Nigeria said that these killings were as a result of the people who were trained by the late Muammar Gaddafi. And so, implying that these people who are doing these killings in Nigeria are invaders from outside of Nigeria. And if, they, if he says that they are invaders from outside of Nigeria, what it means is that it now validates my last point on this floor. When a commander-in-chief says that he cannot take care of invaders invading Nigeria, why is he still a commander-in-chief? Why do we still continue to indulge? Why do we still continue to indulge this president that everywhere goes along to tell everybody outside this country that he is totally incompetent? Before now, the evil community had warned the Southwest against Buhari's government and the menace it will bring in the near future. A notable person that comes to mind is Namdi Kanu, who had said that Yoruba are sitting on a time bomb and it will implode very soon. He also reacted to the outrage and frustrations expressed by the Yoruba community. He made it clear that he warned them earlier about this government. Can you imagine Fulani people telling you if you remove Fulanese from Yoruba forest? Imagine Fulani telling you, if you remove them from your ancestral lands, there will be war and you are panicking. I was warning you in 2014, 2015, 2016, they said he's a warmonger, he's a, he's a warmongering. What is happening today? When Yoruba was supporting this, the dead idiot called Buhari, did I not warn them that this evil you're supporting will consume you? They never listened. They never wanted to listen. Hey, IPOB is a terrorist group. You're trying to divide Nigeria. But Mietiana is not. 
People that you are calling bandits, have you heard anybody come out to say, please, Buhari, since presidency is there defending terrorists in the forest, why don't you proscribe them? No, you cannot proscribe a Fulani group. Never. And all of you, we are supporting evil. When there is a, the proscribed IPOB, proscribed indigenous people of Biafra, these are Yoruba journalists writing junk. Every day they keep writing rubbish. But their land is under siege. Their land is under siege. And the flame will take it. It doesn't take time. So I am here today to encourage them that they must stand tall and be very strong. Resolute. That is what Fulani does. They control the media. They have well-paid consultants all over the world doing their bidding for them. They have that, uh, that uh, woman at UN trying to, to, to lobby the world that everything is okay in the zoo called Nigeria. But you and I know that the zoo is not okay. You and I know the game plan of the Fulani. And what are you doing about it? Nothing. Every day you read, you lament, you complain. Every day you read, you lament. And that's all you do. That is all you do. You read, you lament, you complain. You do nothing about it. Your lives are being taken away from you. Your forests are being occupied. Your mothers are being raped. Your daughters are being abducted. And the whole national government, presidency, is supporting such people. And you're telling me that Nigeria is viably sustainable. The federal government later um, ordered the arrest of Sunday Boho. The IGP instantly signed his arrest warrant, but even before now, Sunday Boho threatened um, Buhari's government that if anything happens to him, there will be war, and this will be worse than NSAS protest. In fact, he said this might hasten the division of Nigeria. Hmm. On the 25th of January, Sunday Boho also reacted to the news about his arrest. He said he got the backing of top Yoruba leaders and they've called the president to warn him not to arrest him, Igboho. Else, there will be war and the president have listened. even former president um, of Basin draft showed you know his support you have a situation where your own tribe is being accused of something now you must be able to look into it and make it transparently clear that that accusation is unfounded 
or if it's founded, you deal with it. The, there had been, well, Hartsman uh, 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 farmers. Now, Hartsman are mainly Fulanis. Nothing has been done. Rather than doing something about it, what we are having is, okay, we will create colonies. Katu colony. Where will you create colony in Nigeria? Is it in my own part of the country that you will now make a colony? Who will give you land to create colony within its own uh, state? So these are specific. You are asking for specific. During an interview with Sahara Reporter, Secretary to the Mayeti Al-Lakatu Breeders Association of Nigeria has said that banditry and kidnapping are national problems, adding that you know, the security agencies must be allowed to deal with them and not people taking laws into their own hands. Fela's son, Sean Kuti, during his home session series, had said that the owners of the cows must be called to modernize their business by law. He said it is very sinister for the same people who own the cows to be in government and protected Why we begin to massacre ourselves. First of all, Nigeria, this Nigeria will this will, this land will this will not be the same way it be five years ago, talk more of ten years ago, talk more of fifteen years ago, talk more of fifty years ago, talk more of hundred years ago. As we did like this for Nigeria, yes, you see those road those people they pass. Na road in the ancient days of time. All those places na bush, all those places na wilderness, all those places na no man's land, basically. But today, in this our day and age, all those places not be wilderness again. All those places are ancient trade routes where people don't they pass, they take corn all this side, where they take move, where they pass right from time. Even when slave masters they build their own routes, they no road. That those places our ancestors they pass, they move things, they do their own business for, for side. But today, all those places don't become areas where people they inhabit. Because our population they grew. This business now means say those cows don't feel pass through those places anymore. These things have changed. Former presidential aspirant Adamu Gaba said recently that he is Fulani, but it makes no sense for cows to be roaming the streets in 2021. Sunday Bo has said that. He is not looking for attention, but seeking for what rightfully belongs to the Yoruba community. After that video surfaced, uh, the Fulani leaders beg for forgiveness, pledges peaceful coexistence. But guess what happened? Just when we thought it's over, we got the news that Fulani Earthmen attacked one of his properties and the damaged items are, you know, worth 50 million naira. The link be ago meta bo idaji ni awon bro mi to sun ni nle mi ni odas mi be no sare wa kan get mi won aji awon won aji mi bi pe la won ta jo wa bi bayi pe awon awon janduku kan wa si odas mi be won bere si yin bon won ja get wole so won de ti na bo ile awon meji ji awon meji to wa me sa escape la ti sa sa la fun emi won lati wa ji wa bi bayi so ngba ta sa don so, but if you don't want the salo, so as I pray on Panapana, we can walk by in Naya. So, talking to Jamilu Juman and the Great Me, expect the prayer key a while you back. Come on, support the full and the yes man, I genie be Takumi, don't get him on fa, a long full and I genie be. Oh, Timon, Sandy P. I'm full and he. Oh, one pound brother. Lori le baba wa won ji won gbe won re pu wa gbo nkan ton se pelu wa ko se nkan to da mo wa ngbe eju pe ka gbe ka kura wa po ka le won ka la fi a le joba lori ile e ni ori ile baba wa ile yoruba nbi nkan to jo mi loju ni pe awon awa awon yoruba to wan support fulani esmen lati wa mo wa ti wa kinebo lemi o je nkan to ba mi ninu je
ti ko ba lowo awon yoruba kan nu o to jo mileju ni pe ngba ton mo ko won fe bamija se bibi ti mo ngbe lo e kon wa ngba ta won le ja ton de le yibon ton de le jole na bibi ti mo ngbe yi lo e kon wa ka ni bi la won wa aba inri 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 evidence fun yin tori gbogbo won le lo ton ba je nbe yen ko ko woro less than 50 million naira eh awon aburo mi awon o ti e won sasala fe mi won ni won awon mejeji sasala a statement released by the spokesperson of the state police command, Fadi Yolubenga, says hoodlums who rode in a Homer bus and a Mikra stormed the apartment, fired sporadic gunshots before setting the house ablaze. The statement adds that the incident is now being investigated. There you have it, guys. I'm going to you know, update you guys on it if need be um, in the future. Thank you once again for listening. Don't forget to like this video and um, subscribe if this is your first time of watching or you're yet to subscribe. So see you next time. Peace. Sunday Igbo Wakwelaye Sunday Igbo Wajere Yoruba Eni bani ko ni ribe a foloju a foloju wa ko se nu trailer akubanza Sunday Igbo wa pela ye Sunday Yoruba wa jere wa eni bani ko ni ribe a foloju a foloju wa ko se nu trailer akubanza Aba so Bwari Eshu Ogba o Aba so E Mogba o Nile Yoruba Kale Jo Wade Kolo